Hello, this tutorial is going to show you how to add a comma in order to separate your uh, your values as well as adding a dollar sign. We're going to make this as simple as possible. One thing to note is once you do add uh, comma, commas or a uh, dollar sign uh, to your number, it will, uh, the type of the, the data type will go from number a numeric value to a character. So that's one important thing to note. Uh, make sure that you don't add uh, the commas or any type of symbol until after you've completed all your calculations. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna set a few numbers equal to X. You can see these just these three numbers. And we're gonna, using base R, we're gonna use a pretty num function Right, we're just going to call that variable with these three numbers, um, and in this big mark, uh, we're going to tell R what we want these numbers to be separated by. So in this case, we want it to be separated by a comma. So if we run this uh, this chunk of code, you're going to see here that these numbers are now separated by a comma. Now you can see that one of these uh, the last number is, has a scientific notation. So if you want to get rid of that, you're going to use the argument scientific equal to false. So we'll go ahead and run the second chunk. You can see that now it's showing 100,000. It's going to show the complete number. Now if you want to add a comma to a data frame, uh, to a specific column in the data frame, uh, this is going to show you how to do it. Right. In this case, we're just going to create a data frame here. And we're going to use the dplyr function uh, to create a new column. And we're going to call it new number. And we're just going to copy. Basically, what I did is I copied and pasted this, uh, this function here. Oh, and it's given me an error, right, because I don't have dplyr installed on this machine. So, get this installed real quick. All right, let's try running this again. All right, you can see now you have the current number and the new number. Now let's go ahead and add a dollar sign uh, to the number with commas and have the numbers rounded to the to the nearest cents. Right. So for this, we're going to use the the package scales. All right. So once you have that installed and you you uh, you bring that library in you're just going to simply use this dollar sign. So we're going to use these two example numbers. All right, let's go ahead and run this again. You can see here we have the dollar sign in the front, separated out by a comma, and it automatically rounds it to the nearest cents. So see that it's 12 cents. All right, and then adding a dollar to a data frame. Uh, this time what we're going to do is we're going to replace that number uh, in that data frame. So we're just going to simply name, uh, we had it as current number. So we're going to call it the same, it's going to have the same column, column name. So instead of adding an additional column, it's going to simply replace it. All right, thank you for watching. And uh, if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe, uh, as well as if you'd like me to create any additional content, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you.